Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to everybody's favorite video, an empties video where we go through all of my empty beauty products, which are products that I've used up in their entirety, the entire thing. I love these videos, I know that you guys do too. I'm actually getting ready to take like a filming break because I'm getting ready to have a baby and one of you guys specifically said, make sure you film an empties video before you go on your maternity break and I was like, I got you girl. So this empties is definitely very like body care heavy. I can tell just by looking. I don't know that I have any makeup in here, but that's okay. Um, it's gonna be kind of a quick one because this basket is usually full and it's like half a full right now. So we're just gonna go ahead and hop in with some hair care actually is what I see on top here. So this is the Brio Geo Superfoods Mango and Cherry Shampoo and Conditioner. I loved this shampoo and conditioner, you guys. I highly recommend it. I talked about it in my like Sephora recommendations video. I love it so much. It smells really, really nice. It has a really good like mango cherry. I mean, obviously that's what <laughs> the notes are, but it really left my hair feeling nice and smooth and I just liked it a lot. I mean, I used it completely up. I was really sad to see it go. I just bought the like banana, pineapple maybe was it's the yellow one by Brio Geo. so we'll have to test that out see if it's anything like this but at some point I will definitely repurchase this one okay lots of Bath and Body Works um, on here so I use pretty much exclusively Bath and Body Works shower gel and body lotion I use body lotion every single day when I get out of the shower so inevitably I go through a ton of them so strawberry pound cake I mean, you guys have heard me talk about this scent before. It smells so good. It's like strawberries and cream. <sighs> Not really a winter scent, though. Definitely more of like a springtime, summertime scent. But I have, this is the shower gel. And then I'm sure I have a matching lotion. Yep, matching body lotion there. And then I also have this raspberry chiffon. This came out around fall time. This was really good. I did get tired of the smell towards the end and I was happy to like see it go, but it kind of has, like it reminds me like nostalgia, like, like old school Bath and Body Works for some reason. I can't pinpoint why or how, but it just reminds me of old school Bath and Body Works. But I mean, it was nice. Um, it was a nice like, summer to fall transition scent, um, you know, whatever. So I got a lotion and a shower gel. I also have Sunshine Mimosa. This was definitely a summer scent, but I love it. I have a few backups ready to go for next summer. This is part of their permanent line, I'm pretty sure. So <sighs> smells so good. It has like a nice citrusy, like fresh. The scent lasts on my skin all day long. So I have the shower gel, the lotion, and the body scrub. I'm pretty sure there's more. Yeah, here's another strawberry pound cake shower gel, strawberry pound cake lotion. I typically finish them up right around the same time. Uh, vanilla Bean Noel shower gel. I love Vanilla Bean Noel. I don't know exactly when this video is gonna go up. I think it's gonna go up, God, after I've had my baby, which is just crazy. So probably closer to the end of December. It's like the perfect Christmas scent. Vanilla, sweet, oh my goodness. So there's a shower gel. I typically pick up enough of that to last me like all year. So I have it year round, but it's, it is the perfect Christmas scent. Um, looks like I don't have a matching lotion to go with that, but that's okay. And then the last body care item I have is by Tree Hut. It's their watermelon shea sugar scrub. This was a really good sugar scrub. Um, I So I did like it. I liked it a lot, I loved the scent, I loved the texture. The thing is, I wish I had a shower gel to match the scent. I did have a body butter to match the scent too, and I think I threw that out, like the container. And I didn't save it, because I don't see it in here. But I just wish I had a shower gel so I had the whole, you know, like, the whole shebang. And I think technically you probably can use this as a shower gel, but it was good. Okay, I have two little packages of these Kirkland wipes. One of them is a travel 15 wipe package and the other one is a full size 30 wipe package. I don't use these too often. Um, I mean, I use the travel one when I'm traveling so this was probably just in like a travel bag <laughs> and I used the last one or whatever and I dumped it. 
And then, I mean, I'll use these for like swatches or sometimes to get like residue out of my hairline and stuff like that. But I typically just don't use makeup wipes very often anymore. When I do, I use Kirkland. It's the Costco brand. It's cheapest. See if I can finish up uh, hair care here because I have a lot of hair care products. I feel like I run out of one category all at the same time. This happened to you guys too. So I only have one dry shampoo in here which is wild. So either I'm using less or I'm washing my hair more or these bottles just last forever. <laughs> I mean this is a jumbo bottle so this is like the two and a half size like the regular one. You can find these at TJ Maxx, they're $9, which is typically the price of a full size, like a regular size at Ulta. So definitely find yourself a TJ Maxx or Marshalls and get it there. Um, I was able to find Bright and Lively Floral scent again. This is my favorite scent. It has just like a nice fresh, like shower <laughs> scent to it, which when you're spraying this on like sixth day hair, you want your hair to smell clean. <laughs> I have a detox shampoo in here. So this is the Living Proof Triple Detox Shampoo. I got this during one of Ulta's like 21 days of hair care, whatever, where they have a deal every day. It's okay. I think I like the, uh, not Sunday Riley, uh, Bumble and Bumble Sunday Shampoo. I think I prefer that better as like a clarifying cleansing shampoo. This one was good though. I mean, it did the job. I just don't think I'll buy it again. I also have this Bumble and Bumble Invisible Oil Heat Protective Primer. I use this as my like leave-in conditioner. So after I get out of the shower and I kind of towel dry my hair, I will spray this in because it has like a whole bunch of different properties. It's a lot like it's a 10. So it has like defrizzing properties, tames flyaways, um, protects against breakage, heat styling protective, UV protection, uh, detangling, uh, softens. I mean, it does, it does all of that. So I do really like it. I like the smell. It's lightweight, so I don't feel like it weighs down my hair or makes it greasy or anything like that. So I went through a whole bottle of this. I've gone through a whole bottle of this before. So, I mean, I really do like it a lot. I have a backup already. I think that's it for hair care. Um, I do have some skincare. Actually, I have this, so I pulled this out of my son's room. It's by Tubby Todd. We love Tubby Todd products. They have the best seasonal scent. It's kind of like the like pristine Bath and Body Works, but for toddlers and kids and babies. They have unscented as well, fragrance-free, which I think I'm gonna end up getting a bottle of the lotion and the shower gel for my newborn just because with newborns, you know, they're sensitive skin. But they have these like seasonal scents and I love it. I fall for them every time. My son likes them, I like them, my husband likes them. But their all over ointment really is like the star product of the entire line. This stuff is so good if you have baby acne or eczema or a cradle cap or diaper rash. I mean, you can use it everywhere and anywhere all over your baby. I gave a jar of this to one of my friends here who just had, um, she just had her daughter in, who was it, October? And she was like, that stuff is magical. I was like, I know, I told you. <laughs> so we actually ended up going through an entire tub of it. I use it on my son's cheeks for his eczema. He has eczema, especially when it gets cold, the eczema flares up pretty heavily. So I use it on his cheeks and then he also he has a little bit of eczema on his arms and his legs. So I'll put regular lotion on and then I'll layer this on top of it. And he, he's two now, so he understands what's going on. So he likes to stick his fingers in there and like, you know, put it on as well. But anyways, we have a backup of this. It's good. By the way, if you want to purchase this, I do have a 10% 10 um, 10 off affiliate link that I will link down below for you. Okay, skincare. So I went through an entire, well, it's like a travel size, two ounce of the bio oil. I was using this as my belly oil for pregnancy. And then I found out that it has retinol in it, you guys. And I was like, Wow, mom fail. How did I not realize that? Retinol is not good for pregnancy. And then I did a little bit more reading and it was like, the concentration is so low that you're fine, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't recommend it for pregnancy, but it is a really good oil. Um, it's supposed to help with stretch marks. It has a nice scent to it too. Um, I have a whole big bottle of it that I was using. So maybe like after pregnancy, I can use it to make sure I don't get stretch marks. I went through a whole bottle of the Dermalogica Special Cleansing Gel. This is a face wash. 
I love Dermalogica products. I feel like they're nice and gentle and uh, they're just really good. This is a nice like gentle, look at the sun coming in through the blinds, how it's like leaving these lines on my, <laughs> on my arms. Um, it bones up really nice on my Clarisonic. It has a very light, like light lemon scent to it. So nothing too crazy or overpowering. If you're looking just for a gentle facial cleanser, this is good. I went through two tubs of Drunk Elephant moisturizers, you guys, both of them. So this is the poly, uh, not poly, yeah, polypeptide protein -y cream. And this is the Lala Whipped Retro Cream. This is the thicker one for dry skin. This is the thinner one for oily skin. I go through phases where I can use either or or both depending on what the day looks like, the weather looks like. These days I tend to use the Lala Whipped a little bit more just because I do have drier skin, especially because it's winter and pregnancy and all that stuff. But they're both really, really, really good facial, mo uh, facial moisturizers if you're looking for one. They have the airless pump. So you push on it like this and the like a dollop of the product comes out of the, the top here. I think that's so cool and it makes sure you get every single little bit of the product out. Uh, because it is an airless pump, you can see like that's the bottom right there. So it pushes up with every pump, it pushes forward and you get every little teeny bit out. So I just like that, <laughs> it makes sure you don't waste any of the product. And then here's the, uh, the Lala whipped one. So I bought a backup of this already. They now sell Drunk Elephant at uh, Ulta, which is great. <laughs> so you can get points with it. I also have one of the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. This is my favorite eye cream. It looks, look at that, totally gone. <laughs> Usually there's like a yellow tint to it, totally gone. This is the big jar too. My favorite eye cream, I did notice I was starting to get milia bumps though, and I don't know if it was from the eye cream or just from like oil population because of being pregnant or the weather changes or what. So I switched over to a different eye cream for now um, that I'll probably use until I have my baby and then I'll go back to this and kind of see what was causing the milia bumps. But I was getting milia like right under my eye and then I had some on top of my eye. So it was definitely in the eye area. I have a little teeny tiny travel sample size of the Drunk Elephant Jelly Cleanser. This is a pretty good cleanser. Um, I think I like the Dermalogica one better. It's just a little bit cheaper if I'm being honest. This has the cool packaging though where it comes out the bottom. <laughs> like you don't twist it off all the way, you just kind of twist it and squeeze it and it comes out the bottom. Even the travel size has that which is kind of cool. I mean if you're looking for a gel cleanser um, and you want to try something different, this is good. I just think it's a little pricey for just being a face wash. I have a bottle of my all-time favorite, holy grail, favorite skincare product ever, ever, ever by Fresh. It's the Rose Deep Hydration Oil Inf Infused Serum. This is my favorite serum, you guys. Day, night, pregnant, not pregnant, winter, summer, spring, fall, all the seasons. It is the best serum. If you have like normal to dry skin, this is gonna be your best friend. It smells like rose, first of all, which is great. And it just does something magical to your skin. When I run out of this and I go like a week or two without using it because I'm, you know, waiting to buy a new one, I can tell. My skin can tell. It feels dehydrated. It feels crepey. It feels dry. And then as soon as I start using this again, I'm like, there it is. That's what I've been missing my entire life. So it just hydrates and plumps and it makes your skin feel amazing. It is oil infused, but I don't feel like it leaves your skin oily or anything like that. Like I put a moisturizer on top of it and then I could put my makeup on and everything is fine. So I don't know how many bottles of this I've gone through. I don't know, like five, six, a lot. Okay, I do have three makeup products that I found at the bottom of the basket to tell you guys about. So the first one is like a little travel size of the NARS smudge proof eyeshadow base my favorite favorite eyeshadow base of all time it's actually the only one I keep in my rotation and my backup collection now because I know that it's my favorite and I'm not going to use anything else so I don't even bother trying or buying anything more I like the clear one they do have colors now but I like the clear one I just feel like it the the colored one I don't know the color was never really right for me so I recommend the clear one best eyeshadow base it makes your eyeshadow look better, last longer, doesn't crease, all the good stuff. I also have the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. 
completely used it up, you guys. Look at that. I was so proud to finish this up. This is a really, really good facial primer. I already bought a backup of it because I don't think I can live without it. I feel like my, so I wear powder foundation. Sorry, my eye is itchy. I wear powder foundation and I feel like something about this mixed with powder foundation, it just makes the foundation stay longer, last longer. Uh, the powder sticks to it like perfectly. And I don't know, I love the packaging too. It has a pump, but it's in a squeezy too. If you're just, if you're looking for a good facial primer, try this one. I don't know if it's necessarily pore filling, but it definitely like smooths out your skin and preps it for foundation. Okay, last thing is an eyeliner by Stila. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. Liquid Eyeliner. <laughs> Uh, I don't know that this is necessarily gone, but it's dried out, so I, I mean, I guess that's gone. Um, this is a good liquid eyeliner. I love the, like, pointy tip it comes to. The I think it's like a felt tip is what they call that. I do think I recommend the Kat Von D one over this one simply because I like the finish of the Kat Von D one better. It's super duper matte, whereas this one has, like, a bit of a satin finish to it. They're both really good though. Okay guys, well that is the end of this empties video. I hope that you enjoyed listening to me talk about all of my trash <laughs> and what I recommend and what I don't recommend. If you want to see more empties videos, I have a whole playlist that I will link down below for you that you can check out. So make sure you do that and I will talk to you next time.